Subscribe to our YouTube channel to become a part of our growing YouTube community and to learn English effectively. Good morning. Can I help you? I want an American breakfast with fried eggs, sunny side up. What kind of juice do you prefer, sir? Grapefruit juice and please make my coffee very strong. Yes, sir. American breakfast with fried eggs, sunny side up, grapefruit juice and a black coffee. Am I correct, sir? Yes, that's right. Is there anything else, sir? No, that's all. Good morning, sir. I've brought the breakfast you ordered. Just put it on the table, please. Do you need anything else, sir? No, thanks. Ah, yes. Can I have some more juice for the minibar? What kind of juice would you like, sir? Tomato, orange and apple juice, please. Yes, sir. I'll get them for you right away. Would you please sign this bill first? Thank you, sir. Can you book me a double room for February 22nd? Well, we won't be able to guarantee you a room for February 22nd, but we can book you on February 23rd. Is that okay? I guess so. What about driving to Shanghai? Driving? No way, it's too far. I just thought it would be an interesting way to see lots of places. How long will it take? Too long, and you do not have much time. What a pity. The May holiday is coming up soon. Are you planning on going on vacation? I am. I just went to the travel agents and picked up these brochures. Where are you planning on going? I fancy going to Tibet for a few days. Have you ever been there? I went a long time ago, before they built the new train that can take you there. Would you recommend going there for a few days? Personally, I think it'd be better to go when you have more time. A few days isn't really enough to get acclimatize yourself and to go on a few excursions outside of the capital. You're probably right. What do you think about Yangshou? It's a beautiful city, but I think it's become too touristy. How about going to a cosmopolitan city like Shanghai or Hong Kong? I'd like to get away from the big city life. Maybe you should consider going to a hot springs resort outside of Beijing. I heard they are very relaxing. I guess if I only have a few days, I should probably think about going somewhere that isn't so far away. Since the May holiday is the high season, you should probably call ahead to reserve a room. Here's the phone number. Thanks. I'll give them a call later. Hello, this is the International Youth Hotel. How can I help you? Oh, yes. I want to check whether you still have any vacancies. I need three single rooms for next Monday. Okay, there are vacancies. Since the peak season is coming, it's advisable to book soon. Would you like to make a reservation now? Yes, please. Do you take credit cards? Yes, we accept all major credit cards. And how about internet access? There's free internet access in the lobby. Is it available in the rooms? Unfortunately not. That's okay. Is breakfast included? Yes, breakfast is included and parking is available. Fantastic. Thank you very much. You're welcome. And we have 24-hour reception.
Please don't hesitate to call anytime if you have any further questions. Hello. I set up my laundry yesterday. Are they being ready? They will be ready this afternoon. Oh, no. I'm leaving for Japan at 11 this morning. Is that right? We are very sorry. I thought it the same day service. Anyway, please do a hurry. I'm afraid B can return by 11 o'clock. Well, then, would you send to Japan, please? Yes, we'll do so. I am sorry to say this, but I seem to have lost the key to the safe. Where do you think you lost it? Outside the hotel? Yes, I believe so. How should I compensate for this? I'm afraid, ma'am, you have to pay US $100 since you lost the key. What? 100 US dollars? Is it covered by the insurance? I'm afraid no. It is not covered by this insurance. Is learning the English language your toughest challenge yet? Become our student and get access to effective and free educational materials.